All right, so it looks like we might actually have conflicting. Yeah, we're gonna have conflicting. Uh, uh, season, blah. Only happens twice though. So, um, all right. Let's check out. We have eighty-six grand. So now that that's over, I'm gonna. So I don't have to go through it again. I'm gonna go ahead and save. And we're gonna go. Um. Let's see. Let's buy. Because our weekly series dirt car is completely maxed out. Um, Alright, that's 65000 for the big engine. And 57000 for the... Alright. twenty five grand. We might be able to do the engine and arrow. And then this is 37k. As I said before, I'm bad at math. So we're going to go ahead and get the the big motor. Yep. No uh, no regrets here. And we've got 21k. Yeah, so we can't do that. We might be able to do it halfway through the season though. Or partway. Get a couple couple friggin uh 37. Yeah, so a couple races in, we'll be able to do that. I mean, and if we won the friggin' championship with the stock car, then, you know, fuck it. We can probably do it again with the nothing but the big motor. <laughs> uh, I Like I said, I'm not gonna... I like that paint scheme. It's like an old Roush paint scheme, and I'm just... I'm not gonna change it. I like it. I don't like the fact that the vehicle's a Ford, but... Uh, you know, it is what it is, so. Uh, this was 2000, February 13th. Hey, that's my mom's birthday at Daytona. All right. So, uh, let's, let's go to Daytona. Probably do terrible. All right. Let's go qualify. I couldn't remember if this uh, this one had the trucks at Daytona or not, and then I remembered that the first year of the trucks at Daytona was 2000, so it absolutely did. It does. We're here now. Look at that. This game came out, I believe, in 2002. Oh, we've got two laps to qualify now. Cool. And we've got a draft meter. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really hold the line with this controller. It is on the difficult side.
56006. Uh, yeah, not that great. But, I mean, P12. Brendan Gunn, my boy! Hell yeah. I love Brendan Gunn. Well, uh, nothing else to it but to do it. Welcome to the Sunshine State and the birthplace of NASCAR, Daytona Beach, Florida. Since 1959, a driver's career can be made or broken at Daytona International Speedway. The two-and-a-half-mile trioval has served as a proving ground for some of the greatest names in racing. 31 degrees of banking in the turns and incredible speeds on the straightaways have led to the inclusion of restrictor plates here. Aerodynamic drafting has become a must-have skill in order to stay with the pack and master Daytona. All right. We're going to gloss over the fact that Rick Crawford is in the field. Um, in set, the race is going green. There's the green flag. Car low. Mm. Still there. Oh, man. Car low. Carlo. I do have a spotter, which is good. I don't like this. Hold your line. I mean, I guess bump drafting isn't a thing. Why? All clear. Why? Five the leader's pitting? Wait, what? Fuel. Huh? I'm confused. Do I have to pit? Give me that draft. Give me that sweet, sweet suck. You're low on fuel. Uh, uh. No, I get it. The going into the pit. Oh my god. Oh. Alright, well, I'm gonna. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna go in. Oh, Jesus Weirdo. Christ. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Probably shouldn't have taken tires. Oh my god, these guys are slow. Why? It must be a setting. I'm gonna have to look and see. I just don't understand how I can be low on fuel after one lap. Still there. All clear. Stay low. Still there. Estimated clear fuel, 38 laps. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Clear. 
I am so confused. Like, if I didn't have to do that, if I didn't have to pit... Like I said, there must be a setting. Which, by default... I did default settings, and that's dumb. So... Stay high. Still there. You're all clear. I mean, we are coming back a little bit, but... Oh, there's a later board. Two to go. Okay. Stay low. Still there. All clear. Need a couple more laps to even break into the top ten, which is what I need to do. Yeah, I'm not going to let that happen again. If I'm able to change the setting. I think it's like mandatory pits or something. Which is absolutely stupid. Oh, we got somebody with a blown engine. And it's looking like we're going to get P16. God, this feels like the end of a friggin' carb cup race. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. So there we are in 16th place for the Craftsman Truck Series uh, point standings. This is uh, the immortal words of Mike Stefanik and recent NASCAR Hall of Fame inductee. This is bullshit. So I'm going to go ahead and check and see if there's any setting where I can turn that off. Oh, actually, we're going to do sponsors. Uh, qualify fifth or better. I don't think that's going to work that much. But we're just going to have to uh, place 15th or better. I think we'll be able to manage that. Qualify 10th or better. We've got two qualify, and, hmm, okay, well, um, B and S, <laughs> uh, kind of like that logo better, and then on the TV panel, we'll put whatever that says, Vilo. So I have fixed the pitting problem, it will not happen again. Uh, we've got the Denison Speed Dome, Speed Drome, for the Featherlight Modified Series. This is going to be our first race with our big new motor. Oh, oh, oh. So here we go. I can already feel the difference. Oh my. Yeah, we may need the arrow sooner than later. I think we've got enough to go ahead and do that anyway, after the truck race. But I didn't want to spend all of my money. All right, let's see where we play. I can definitely feel the difference, though. Oh, wow. So we did not do very good. Maybe everybody's up in their game. <sighs> so. Here goes nothing. Maybe this will be our sophomore slump year. 
we are going to have to miss a race or two because of the trucks. Oh yeah, look at that. We've got no handling. Oh, wow, yeah, that was crap. I just want my spot back. Sorry. Nothing personal. That was a great lap. Trying to get a... What, what was it? Top 10? Top 5? Don't think that's going to happen, but we might... Might be able to get a P6 or 7. I just need a little bit more grip. That's all. Kind of working with a neutered car at the moment. I mean, it's not, not it's got plenty of power. But I think we did the classic uh you know, upgrade the the motor, put a big engine in it and not really do every anything else. Like the the nerd with the crazy beefy arms that you know hasn't done anything else. He's swole from the waist up, you know. So it's looking like a P6 for us, unless something catastrophic happens, which I'm really hoping not, because I would like a P6. I'd also like a P5, although I think this car is a lap down. We certainly did. So salvaging a P6 out of that is okay. First race of the season. We're, we've got plenty of time to make that up. So there's the points for the Featherlight Modified series. We've got P6. Uh, 150 points. All right. We can make it happen. Just got to keep getting top fives, which, you know, may or may not work. Uh, we don't have any new sponsors, although Ken's Garage, 350, yeah, we're, no, we're going to keep what we got. Um, and we've got enough points, points, we've got enough funds to uh, to buy the arrow kit for this, the fully, fully upgraded arrow kit. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got fully maxed out arrow um, and engine. So we've got to save up 57,000. Oh, I just went back. Uh, and I believe the exhaust is something stupid like 60 grand. 37,000. So 37, 37, 60, 14, 78. 78,000. Okay, yeah. I, I hope I did that right. That's the fastest that I can do math. <laughs> and really only easy numbers like that. So, uh, next race is going to be a weekly racing series at Dundas County Fairgrounds. So, this is the first race of the Dirt Series for our third season. So, we're going to have to juggle some some cars here. I wonder if uh, I wonder if they get progressively harder. 
if Joe Fazioli's still gonna be up top. Eighteen oh five oh. Yeah, that should be the poll by a little more than a second. So let's go to the first heat and see what happens. Last lap. So there is the heat. Uh, on the move award. Started ninth, finished fourth. Joe Fazioli. He's got the name that sounds like ravioli. It's Joe Fazioli. He's got to be Dookie's like, cousin or something. Absolutely. He'll be enshrined into the immortal... Uh, Dookie Jefferson lore. Joseph Fazilington. His descendant. Kind of wish this had more realistic physics with with the dirt. You get it a little bit sideways, you know. Just 
Just a little. Five laps to go. All right. First win of the season. It's like shooting friggin' ducks in a barrel. There is our weekly racing series points. We've got me up there in the lead. Woo! Gonna do it! Let's see. What else we got? Uh, fastest lap. Lead a lap. Fifth or better. Uh, you know, there are better things for Senor Taco, but I'm gonna keep Senor Taco. I'm just, I'm going to keep Senor Taco. I have to. Um, and there's nothing else better, so we're just gonna leave our sponsors the way they are. Why not? They've done us well. Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna take a look at how exorbitantly expensive it is to, uh, to upgrade the truck. Do I, all right, taking, taking guesses. The, uh... The dirt car was 60 grand for the top engine. The modified was 60 grand for the top engine. You think it's also going to be 60 grand? Oh my. Oh wow. $290,000. Holy cockabum. <clears throat> what do we got for aero? 150,000. Three hundred and fifty thousand. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Two hundred sixty-five thousand dollars. Wow. All right. Well, <laughs> I said I wanted this to be a staple of the channel. I do love this game. It is something that I could keep playing for days and months and years. So. All right, so our next race is Crystal Lake Raceway, Crystal Lake Modified Series. This will be the first test of our big motor and our arrow. Go, 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 go. Uh, oh, okay. Well, um, did that, and then I also need to, I don't know why, but for some reason,
probably could have done better. Rolled the center, but... Oh, look at that. By uh, half a second. Alright. Well. Uh, okay. Not gonna fight it. Yeah, well, there is an improvement with the arrow. Um, I definitely think that the uh, the whole putting some suspension under it will increase our handling absolutely. But we seem to be uh, doing fairly well, at least for this track. But then, you know, we're doing this and I'm thinking about the friggin' the, uh, the truck. Well, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to really... <laughs> Really do some winning to uh, to get that. I can only imagine what the Cup Series cars uh, are like. Friggin' absolutely mental. Go. I bet you the engine's gonna be like 500,000 something absolutely redonkulous like that. So there's a win. Um, I believe our last finish was, uh, I don't know, it's been like a day since I've recorded. So, um, you know, a few hours yesterday. I can't remember what our last finish was. So there is our points. We've got one win, one top five. Um, and I believe we finished sixth the last race. It was either eighth or sixth. Probably eighth. <sighs> so, um, our current sponsor is placed 15th or better. Uh, these are new ones. Um, I'm going to go ahead and equip all of these. Uh... Hmm. You know, that's the only one I'm gonna do. Although, oh, we have the, uh, place 12th or better. Lead a lap. Fastest lap. 15th or better. Okay, so, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna leave that. I, I replaced the 15th or better. And we're gonna go ahead and leave that as is. Um... I believe our next race is a... Okay, I thought it was a truck race. Where's the trucks going? Darlington! Oh, boy. Oh, okay. So, here we go to Keon. 
Kenyan, sorry. I like the caboose. So we're going to go ahead and do the qualify. Go, 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 go. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah, by over a friggin' second. We seem to uh, outpace the field by a second with these ones. This track would definitely benefit from a, uh, a rear gear change. Absolutely. And on to the A main. 15 laps, 12 laps. Best lap ever. Oh man, that was garbage. That was, uh, yeah. We still haven't lost the lead. 
I wouldn't be surprised if there's some damage to the car, though. Five laps to go. Yeah. We've got some engine damage. That's what happens when you're not paying attention. I saw somebody walking by on my camera and thought somebody was on my porch. So I looked up and yep, that happened. So hey, it is what it is. I'm also expecting a package, so had some people taking stuff from porches lately, so wanted to, Two to go. grab it when I can, you know? So there's our points after two races, or yeah, two races for the uh, weekly series. Two wins, as expected. And, um, let's see. Uh, we've got some new things, but nothing that can beat any of these. And of course, we're not removing Senor Taco, even though we could do better. Uh, we're not removing Senor Taco because Senor Taco is life. Onward to Darlington for the truck series. God, I love that friggin' paint scheme. Go, 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 go! That's what I plan on doing. All right. So this is Darlington. And this will be three and four, so we'll have to let off a wee little bit. If you're not familiar with this track, uh, it's kind of shaped like an egg. I believe it's like a mile and three quarters. No, it's a little less. It's it's. I think it's just over half a mile or just under. Eh, wow, English. I think it's just over a mile and a half or just under a mile and a half. And it's shaped like an egg where turn three and four are tighter than one and two. And the story behind that is uh, the right. plot of land. There's like a minnow farm in turn four or something. And the guy didn't want to sell his land. And uh, so they just kind of built around it. Nineteenth place. <laughs> All right. Garbage. Hot friggin' garbage. Welcome to Nat. No, I forgot. Oh well. Get set. The race is going green. <sighs> There's green flag. So I don't think we're gonna do very good this season in the trucks. I genuinely don't think we will, but we're going to try. Um, I don't think I talked about my personal goal because of that stupid pitting issue, 
Um, my personal goal for the trucks is going to be uh, 15th place or better. And the stretch goal is going to be 10th place. I know some of our sponsors are 10th place, I believe. But, as I've already set my own rules, um, I'm not going to upgrade the vehicle until next season. So we're going to do this entire season with the stock, quote-unquote, race car. And that will also give us more time to save up uh, for Five laps to go. the upgrades and also to max out our super modified. That's not a super modified, well and modified. Feather light modified, well and whatever. I believe currently they're well and modified, well and whatever. I think these might be lap down cars. They're going awfully slow. I don't know. P12. All clear. Two to go. No, we're not going to catch that. Oh, we might. That would be awesome if we could get a top 10. That would be freaking amazing. I think this is a lap down car, though. Yeah. That was a lap down car, and I think this one might be as well. Look how friggin' slow he's going. Yep. And this one as well. Yeah. Oh, I got my hopes up. But top 15, as I've said, is my goal. So we are exceeding that. Twelfth place, not bad. We'll uh, we'll gloss over the fact that Rick Crawford won. If I get to dump his ass, I'm definitely going to. Okay. So here are our standings. We are comfortably in fifteenth place. So that's uh, 
you know, good with our our goal. We'd like to be better, but hopefully, maybe we can uh, we can do that. Who is okay? I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to check something. These are all under contract, so we're not gonna do anything. I'm gonna have to check something because I saw 72 and um, an R. McDonald. Now, um, the track that I used to frequent, uh, Lee USA Speedway, had a, uh, uh, the owner was named Red McDonald, and, um, his son raced in the truck series and drove the 72. So I wonder if he raced in the truck series as well in the, like, early 2000s. So I'm gonna exit career mode, and I'm going to go into the main game. So his son was Eddie McDonald. I can't remember if I already said that. Ah, uh, it's Randy McDonald. Okay. I, there's probably no, uh, no relation. Okay, so this just happens to be a uh, a complete um, coincidence. Uh, Randy McDonald is actually Canadian, so he is uh, not the same. All right, so let's get back to the action here. Uh, Kingsfield Raceway for the Dirt Series, Weekly Racing Series. All right, look at that. We've got the pole by over a second again. Joy, joy, joy. It's set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Left. Nice work, kid.
and on to the A main. Is that Joe Fazioli to our outside? And here's to me. All right, Joey. Joseph Fazioli. Jimmy Fazio. Just keep getting better and better and better. See if we can get 14. Now with this guy in the way we aren't. Five laps to go. This gaggle of cars. Uh, Joseph Fazioli. No. Oh, Jesus. Alright. It's okay. We've done this before. At this track, actually. Great job. Alright. And here are the point standings after our most recent race. We've got three wins, three top fives, 330 points. Ah, oh, wish we could have got extra three, but hey. Uh, once again, none of these are under anything, but uh, yeah, aside from Senor Taco, uh, none of them can do any better, and Senor Taco is love. Senor Taco is life. 